Hello and welcome to another RadToots.com Flash Action Script tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be creating a car and we're going to drive it around. And uh, it's going to be a little tricky. There's some uh, some advanced trigonometry that we got to figure out here, but uh, let's get to it. So as usual, the first thing we want to do is we want to create a movie clip that we're going to be controlling. Now I've gone ahead and I've loaded this uh, this bitmap image of this car here. So what we can do is we can just drag our, our bitmap onto our canvas here and select it, hit F8, and we're going to create a movie clip with this image and we're going to call it car. And we're going to give this an instance name. This movie clip is going to have an instance name of car. Pretty simple. So now comes the tricky part. We want to want to move this thing around using our action script. So let's go ahead and let's go to our uh, our keyframe here, and we're going to start typing in our action script. Now the first thing we should figure out is how we're going to rotate this car. So as usual, we start off with our on enter frame function. And let's just trace the rotation. Um, first of all, let's uh, make sure we're specifying that we're dealing with the our car object. So we're going to trace the car object. Uh, we're going to trace its rotation value so we can see what we're dealing with here. And we can see here that the rotation is initially set to zero. So when our car is facing left to right, the rotation is zero. And that's going to help us to figure out our tri trigonometry down the line here. So I'm going to go ahead and write some keyboard detection. So if our key is down, and we're going to use the left and right keys. So if our key, if our left key is down, we're going to be increasing the rotation of our car. So we'll increase it by a factor of three. And let's see what that does. First, I'm going to save this. And let's test it out. Okay, so it's going the wrong way. So we're, we're going to want to decrease it by three instead. And we could tell that uh, it's not exactly rotating around our central position. So we want to go into our movie clip here and we want to center our car right in the center of that uh, crosshair there. Let's test this out again. And there we go, we're returning our car now when I hit the left key. And we can see that our rotation value it uh, starts off at zero and then as we turn left it's going negative so it gets to negative 90 and then negative 180 and, but then it jumps and it's positive. So that's something we're going to have to keep in mind. So when uh, when our car is rotated down this way, it's positive. And when it's rotated up here, it's a negative. So from 0 to negative 180, and then down here, it's 0 to positive 180. So this rotation is basically it's a, it gives us a number from 180, uh, from 0 to 180, but uh, that's in degrees. And what we want to be working with is radians. So what we have to do is we have to, con we have to create a variable called our radian angle. And we have to take our, our rotation variable, which is in degrees, and we have to convert it to radians. And the way we do this is we multiply it. So we multiply our rotation variable by uh, pi divided by 180. Now I can't really explain that because uh, it would take some time. But if you break out your old uh, Math 11 textbook, I'm sure you can figure this stuff out. So if we uh, multiply it by math or pi over 180, we basically get our angle in radians. And with that, we can calculate our x and y component, uh, our speeds, 
based on our trigonometry. So all we've done so far here is we've uh, we've converted our rotation value from degrees into radians, and that radians uh, number is our our rad angle. So let's just trace our rad angle and let's see what that is. So let's get rid of this trace function up here. And let's start tracing our rad angle. So you can see it starts off at zero, and as we rotate, now uh, we're we're dealing with uh, the kind of numbers that you want to be dealing with when you're doing trigonometry. So from these numbers, we can we can calculate our component values of our x and y based on our trigonometry here. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to have a, a set speed for a car. So let's say our, the speed of our car is 3. Now, if our car is facing a certain angle, that value of 3 is going to be broken up into x and y components. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've, I've drew this little diagram in an attempt to explain uh, trigonometry. So let's say our car has a speed of 3, and it's at this specific angle which we've which we've determined in radians. Now we want to figure out what our x speed is. So how fast is that car going to be moving on our x axis or our x component of our speed? And uh, how fast is it going to be moving on the y axis? Now if you remember your SOHCAHTOA, uh, if we want to find the opposite, which is the opposite of this angle is going to be this line right here. We have to divide it by the hypotenuse. So this sort of, once you figure out all this stuff, it basically boils down to these equations here. So our y speed, which is this uh, this component of our speed right here, is going to equal the sine of our uh, of our angle here multiplied by our, our speed, which is uh, in this case 3. And if you look at our x speed, it's going to be the cosine, which is the uh, adjacent right here over the hypotenuse, which is 3. Now, and then if you sort of flip that uh, equation around, we end up with uh, the x speed e equaling the, ma uh, the cosine of our of our angle multiplied by our, our, our hypotenuse, which is our, our speed. So that probably didn't make much sense. Uh, it's a little hard to explain without drawing this out on a chalkboard. But uh, it's, actually, it's actually pretty simple to figure it out. So now that I've probably thoroughly confused you with all that uh, equations babble, um, if you don't understand trigonometry then ask someone to explain it to you on paper because it's much easier to explain this stuff uh, on paper but uh, what we want to take away from this basically is our uh, basically these uh, these lines of code that we figured out here now if we go back to our action script we we want to keep in mind these uh, these equations that we figured out so let's go ahead and type these in so if we if we remember correctly, our x speed or x component of our uh, speed vector is going to equal the cosine of our angle in radians. So this dot rad angle. Let's get rid of this line here. And we're going to multiply that by our speed, which is our hypotenuse. And for our y speed, that's going to equal the uh, sine of our rad angle multiplied by our speed. Now, 